Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to tell you a little bit about where we're going and some of the details, but before we start proceedings, as I'm sure most of you have heard, last night, tragically, a second cyclist was killed at the Bow Junction by a lorry. This is the same junction where three weeks ago Brian Dawling was killed on Cycle Superhighway 2. This junction is well known in cycling circles. Warnings have been made by cyclists to Transport for London and by the local assembly member, John Biggs. Those warnings went unheard. Before we begin our proceedings, I'd like you to join me in taking one minute in thinking about family and friends of the person who died last night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The reason we're here today, and the reason why I hope you've all come, is because none of us should have to fight to get our way to work. None of us should have to feel afraid merely to take our children to school, whether that's by foot or whether that's by bicycle. Designing public spaces which exclude people on the basis of their ability, that is to say, those of us who aren't able to cycle like Mark Cavendish around the elephant and castle roundabout, is designing in danger and designing in inequality. Personally, I find that unacceptable. This week, Boris Johnson, Mayor of London, said that he felt that the elephant and castle roundabout was perfectly negotiable by bike if you keep your wits about you. I do not believe that the 89 people who have been killed or seriously injured on that junction in the past two years did not keep their wits about them. I believe that these places are inherently dangerous and that it is negligent in the extreme not to act and make sure that these urban spaces are remedied as quickly as possible. Today we'll be visiting 10 of those most dangerous junctions for cyclists and I thank you for taking the risk in doing it with me. Um, we intend to keep you all as safe as possible and that we should do the ride reasonably quickly. We'll be setting off very shortly. We'll be stopping for a very quick tea break and toilet stop in Hyde Park, which will take about an hour to get there. After that, we'll be heading towards Look Mum No Hands, which is the cycling cafe on Old Street, which is looking forward to welcoming us. And they also have toilets and uh, 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 beer, um, most importantly. Uh, I have with me today some very lovely marshals, and I was going to tell you that they're easily recognisable by their high visibility vests. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're all wearing high visibility vests. However, Charles here in front of me, Charles, if you give everyone away, the gentleman here with the hat is one of them. All of our marshals have these vests on. Uh, they will be corking or blocking the junctions for us so that we can proceed as one large vehicle to ensure that everyone is kept safe and together. That means at times it will mean going through a junction as one, which means that sometimes you might be going against the colours. Please do listen to the marshals. If they say to you, on your right, it means they're trying to whiz ahead from the back of the peloton to the front. 
which means you should just move slightly over to let them pass. Um, our ride leader today is Charlie Holland. Where are you, Charlie? Who's wearing the fetching pink one. <laughs> Charlie is our great dictator for the day. What he says goes. So uh, if he says left, please go left. If he says right, please go right. If he says stop, please do stop. Um, I hope today will be fun. Um, basically, this is like one large internet date. Most of you don't know each other. You've all heard about it via the television or the internet uh, or Twitter. Um, so if you see someone by themselves, say hello. We're all London cyclists, young, old, like the road warriors, people on Dutch bikes. We're all here together for the same reason. So talk to each other, share experiences, take photos of your experiences, take photos of the junctions that we're passing through. If you use Twitter, and I know a lot of you do, the hashtag for the day is hash tour du danger, or tour de danger. Um, please upload your experiences using that hashtag so that we can compile them all at the end of the day. And we'll be compiling your photographs, your experiences, putting them into a report, sending this report to every London Assembly member, sending them to Peter Hendy at Transport for London, sending them to Boris Johnson, and putting him on notice. That way, he's been told, he's been warned, and he can never say that he didn't know that these dangerous places exist. And hopefully, by all coming together and maintaining this kind of pressure, he'll listen and things will get done. So um, thank you all very much for coming. I'm really, really overwhelmed. Um, we're leaving this way through the gate here, um, so I suggest you push your bikes towards that gate. Uh, the marshals are there, ready to block the junction for us. Uh, thank you all for coming. Give yourselves a big round of applause.